The Dirty Dog. Hello everyone, it's Jim Sterling here, playing a game that is as usual, I don't know why I keep telling you all this and reinforcing the idea, a game that appeared on Steam quite recently. This is Paper Sorcerer, uh, an RPG of sorts, uh, so that's that. Caught my eye because it did look quite interesting. Um, there's four difficulty settings, normal. As usual, I've jumped in, I don't know much about it beyond uh, the cursory glance I gave it on Steam, but I do know that once there was a sorcerer who lived in a tower with an apprentice. The sorcerer terrorised the land with evil minions until one day they roamed no more. At night, however, lights could still be seen burning in the windows of the dark tower. The king saw this was the chance to attack the sorcerer directly, you see. He gathered four loyal and highly skilled subjects, entrusting them with a powerful artifact, an artifact that would seal away the sorcerer, ending this reign of terror once and for all. On the way, the group traversed dark caves, poisonous marshes, and ancient ruins. They climbed the dark tower floor by floor, beset by evil minions at every step, yada yada yada. This is all stuff I know. Uh, once they reached the top, they confronted the sorcerer and activated the artifact. In a blinding flash of light, sorcerer and minions were all sealed away. However, that is just the beginning of our tale, you see. So yeah, it caught my eye because it's got a very interesting sort of graphical style. Uh, normally, things like with paper and doodle and stuff in the middle, I don't pay much attention to because they all kind of jumped on the same bandwagon of oh look it's hand drawn but this looked at least in screenshots small screenshots I saw looked especially good but we will see um, all I know right now is that I've awakened with a star and I'm reflexively trying to cast a spell uh, but it died in my throat uh, and then I saw my surroundings uh, the last thing I remember was fighting four of the king's lapdogs Banan the warrior Reich the ranger Akimi the mage and Yowran, the priest. Uh, they had a book that glowed with a fearsome light. You aren't the type to be easily scared, but as you looked into the light, you felt truly terrified like you never have before. But you have all your arms, legs, fingers, and senses intact, so things could always be worse. In checking to make sure you are intact, you confirm you are a man, woman. Uh, sometimes you've got to remember these things. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll just keep it true to my heart at the moment and make this person a I, I guess I'm a, I'm a close facsimile of a man. The first thing you figure you should do is find out where you are. Use WASD to move, look about with the mouse, click on things to interact with them. Okay. Bed. Pointy, pointy things. Oh. Oh, I got to play for a second. To advance dialogue, press the spacebar, click the next button to open the menu, press M. In the upper right corner, an option to search will occasionally appear. Uh, press the spacebar to search an area. This can give you additional details about a room and sometimes reveal secrets. Search. You feel some kind of subtle force in this room. It's making it difficult to concentrate and your head feels all funny. You can slowly feel your magic seeping away along with your will to stand, escape, or do anything that doesn't involve laying down. Uh, whatever kind of magic this is, it's truly insidious. You feel yourself nodding off already. You should probably lie down before you hurt yourself. But we don't want to do that. Oh, but we may have to do that. I guess we do. Even though you only have been conscious for a short amount of time, you feel extremely tired. You want to rest for a bit. Uh, sure. It doesn't take long before you feel yourself slipping into a deep sleep. Right before you begin to slumber, however, you have the distinct impression you're being watched. You have a bloody hell. You have a dream where you're talking with some friends you had when you were younger, but the room you're talking in is unfamiliar with plain stone walls and a table with several bags on it. When you open the bag in the center, a snake jumps out, slithers out of the room. I'd love to see all this. When you awaken, there's a mouse sitting on the end of your bed staring at you. Oh, there he is. You're an interesting one. I'm not going to do stupid voices. A sorcerer, that's some dark magic. Vine's souls are cooler than when needed. They made dangerous power. Mouse couldn't care. He's been contracted to do this. Uh, dangerous but useful. Let's ask a mouse what it wants. Been waiting for someone like you. I've been waiting. I would like to escape and I think you can help me, I guess. Right now we've been sealed inside a prison of sorts. 
The king has been trapping threats to the kingdom here for decades. I think I know a way to escape, but I can't do it alone, and a sorcerer like you is just what I need. If you'd be willing to help me, I would be able to ensure we both get out. Uh, yeah, why not? Excellent! First thing you need to do is get out of this cell bog. Suddenly a burst of intense magic energy fills the room. The oppressive force of that was drawing your magic is gone, as is the most. You hear a whispery voice in your mind, I will find you again soon. Right. Brilliant. Okay. You can feel so- oh my god, I got to walk a second. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls to aid in your escape. Choose wisely, they will function as your party for the rest of your adventures here. Interesting. Who will accompany you? We got a werewolf, a fast unarmed attacker, a minotaur, or a minotaur if you want to say it how it's fucking spelled. Powerful berserker, skeleton, stalwart defender, vampire, a life draining healer. Mm. Ghost bolsters the party and cripples the enemy. Imp, a mix of magical artifacts and effects. Goblin, a sneaky thief. Cultist, defensive healer. Witch, powerful healing and curses. Troll, deadly assassin. Shadow, unpredictable but powerful magic attack. Abomination, defends the party from magic attacks. I'm going to go with the vampire. I don't like vampires as a matter of course. Uh, but I do like the idea of uh, draining and healing. The vampire, prince of darkness, using dark magic, he drains the life from your foes and redistributes it to the party. I like that. The vampire can be thought of as a more offensive-minded healer. He sacrifices his own HP to heal the party, relying on his draining abilities to keep himself alive. Additionally, he has an assortment of damage and control spells to keep things interesting. Seems good. Uh, life drain, dark sacrifice. It's, right, that's the healing. Okay. Great swords, light and medium armor, and one accessory. Yeah. The vampire has been summoned. Use him well. Right. So, the combat is for... Fuck me. As soon as you pass through the doorway, you see a single guard barreling down the hallway towards you. Hey, you had to get out of your cell. Okay. Fighting time. It's just one lone guard you think to yourself. How tough can he be? Combat is turn-based. Right. It's like the option you want with the mouse. This is what I was about to say. Uh... Right click to back out of any menu, space button used to accept basic attack, right. E energy is used when performing skills and regenerates at a rate of one per round. Energy not used in combat can be used outside of battle for healing skills and the like. To do this, go to the skill section of the menu. The small dice icon next to each skill in the menu shows how many fucking turns that skill takes to recharge. For example, a three means that skill takes three turns, right. To see the messages again, go to the info section. I've seen them more than once. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Skill. Great, well, let's just see what happens there. Oh, there we go. Uh, what's the sorcery got? Let's do that. Oh, keep clicking on him. Click there. <laughs> Not bad. Not a bad day's work, sir. So, this is it. I'll say a very stylish, very old look to it. This looks like a dead end, doesn't it? Along we go. What's on this? The small chest is locked. I don't have a key or anything. What is through yonder? A pair of guards are standing around murmuring as soon as you enter their tent. It's a little... I don't know. The, not seeing them here when it says they're there. Like, it's a bit... This whole trust us, it's definitely happening kind of storytelling is a bit alienating. The shock look on their faces is absolutely priceless, however, they quickly regain the composure and rush into attack. Other than HP and energy, there is one thing you need to keep track of in combat. Death is a character's defense, it's subtracted from any damage inflicted. For example, if a guard attacks you with 10 damage, you have 4 defense. 10 damage, say with 4 defense, 6 point right. Simple math. It goes down with each hit, but is restored after battle. If an attack causes zero damage because the target's defense is higher than the damage caused, can increase drama and certain skills. Right, so you've got to whittle through defenses as you play. Cool. Fair enough. Okay, 
just see what a normal attack does. Right, uh, I will do this black bolt though on the other guy. See what happens. Right, so the magic, I guess, is, is looking like it ignores the basic defense. Uh, I'm gonna drain this fucker. Because he's hitting my vampire. And he'll just do a normal attack. God, I keep wanting to click on him, he flashes red. So, uh, they should add that option in. So it make my life easier. The one iron mace. What do we got? Equip mold. No, no, no. Equipment. Sorcerer. Right, there we go. Weapon! Give him the mace. The other, we need a great sword, I guess, for the vampire. No. I'm gonna go see what this other door's like. Oh, there's a thing here, though. Veritable armory, the quality is dubious at best. Super preserved sent for repairs or to get scraps. Find a worthless iron staff, a shameful iron axe, worn iron danger, dagger, junky longsword, dented, shoddy, rusty, makeshift, poorly made, old rags. How annoying. I was doing all that. Well, let's see if there's anything better than what we got. Armor. Rags. Accessory. Oh, I don't have that. Back. Oh, see, why can't I click on these as well? Like, it would just be easier. Weapon. Shoddy greatsword. That's better than nothing. Okay, let's just make sure that all went through. Brilliant. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, stuff. Found a plain key. Hooray! Peaceful path. Learning to put banditry behind you. Yeah, why not? Steal the book about learning not to steal. Oh, ha 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 ha. One broom. One mop. Tiny bed. Small dusty box. Inside the box, a small wooden idol resembling a rotund female goblin. Yeah, why not? Let's have it. Guess that's that. And back here. Cool chest is locked. Use item. Playing pen. Lock the chest. Blah 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 blah. Lock is now open. Or restoration crystals. In hard 1980s difficulty, aside from a few high level skills, restoration crystals are the only way to revive dead characters. Ah. They restore HP as well as resurrect the dead, so you just make sure to have a couple on hand. Okay. Thought that might be a thing, but it's not. It's not a thing, guys. And now we go down to the next level. Yes. I'd love that. Enough of that bollocks. There's a doings a transpiring. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls. Hooray! Okay, well, we've got ourselves a healer. Let's do something with some. Let's let's uh cause some real trouble here. Oh god, I want the Minotaur because that's how it's spelled, or the Shadow. I like I like a little gambling. Let's do the Shadow. Something unpredictable. Unpredictable ally. The shadow is based around dealing large amounts of magic damage. While the damage range is very wide, many of the shadow's abilities cause extremely high amounts of damage. 
attack using the target's own offensive ability against him because of a variety, varying amount of shadow, fire damage, blah 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 blah, like two accessories. Yes. Uh, got to equip him, but we don't have any sh uh, accessories yet. Came across a hunched over old goblin sweeping the hallway. As you approach, he turns around and his eyes slowly widen until they're the size of saucers. He looks around to make sure no one is around and quickly hobbles up to you. You're doing edge again, so very strange mouse, help me. He squints at you, a mouse. He thinks for a moment before suddenly letting out a gasp. The spirit of the book, the who of the what? After a furtive glance over his shoulder, he leans in closer. Uh, right now you're in a magical art of you are in right in a magical artifact of great power, the Librum Claustrum. A book that isn't really a book at all, more like its own extra-dimensional space. It is used by heroes under orders from the king to imprison evil and maintain peace in the realm. Evil such as you and I. When someone or something is put here, they are supposed to go into a deep sleep for all eternity. Dreaming the dreams of madmen. Uh, but, as we know, that isn't always the case. Sometimes the spells designed to sap our power don't work. Mm, other times the spirit of the book has been known to interfere. Either way, the result is usually the same. An inmate escapes and the guards hunt them down. They relish the excitement. Uh... Uh... Gems. All those gems have a very special property. If you look into one and concentrate, you can briefly see the outside world through someone else's eyes. For the people in here, it offers a brief but intoxicating... If offers. Intoxicating bit of escapism. Most people here actually use them as currency. After you've been here for so long, being able to see the real world even briefly is even more valuable than any sword or diamond. After hearing the explanation, we're very curious. Yeah, let's have a look. You feel yourself slowly being drawn in until everything goes dark. There's a flash of light. Suddenly you're standing in a bathroom sink. You look in the mirror and see a middle-aged man staring back at you, placing a hand on your rather round gut. You let out a deep sigh. I used to be so skinny, you think to yourself in a voice you've never heard before. Someone is using a gem on me. I think. Weird, weird sensation. Suddenly, there's another flash of light. You're in the back of, in the lib, you back in the lib. Must try reading properly with the goblin. He gives you a numbing look and nods. The gem in your hand has crumbled to dust. Uh, can I just go? I want to just go. Like I would sit here and read all this, but again, like I'm, you know, we're, uh, I'm trying to show you guys. Mostly just clean up after the guards and say we repent in my evil ways. Right. You believe me, I'll burn this whole place to the ground. Right. Okay, well, I've asked everything. Oh, there's other stuff here. God. Uh, you're lucky you met me. So happens, I know. He sees the wooden idol you're carrying. Hey, that's mine. How'd you get that? Gave the idol back. Just snatches the idol at your hand with grumbling something in Goblin. As I was saying, there is a safe place. He turns around and abru abruptly at the sound of two men talking in the room down the hall. There isn't much time. Good God. He hands you a red feather. There is a safe place where others like you are hiding. If you continue through the cell block, you will eventually come across a dark pit. Jump into it. This feather will ensure you wind up at the sanctuary. Good luck. Oh yeah, watch out for the knight. He's in charge of this one. Right. Again, like, ordinarily I would, you know, be more patient and read stuff, but... You know, you don't watch videos to read stuff. You know, the very reason why blogs are fucking failing at the moment, some of them. Not not anything I write, but some of them are failing. It's because people want to watch videos and not read stuff. But here's more stuff. Most enemies will be displayed as a floating cloud of shadow. Getting near the shadow will start a battle. Beware, certain sneaky foes won't be visible ahead of time, so be prepared. And that's a guard. See, I'd why couldn't it just be a drawing of a guard? They've got the drawings already. I know, it's a little odd, but what can you do? Uh, guard A. Skill. Black Bolt. Guard B. Shadow. Skill. Man, what have we got here? Shadow Blaze. Shadow Inferno. Let's try that. I guess that Shadow Inferno is going to be useless if we end up killing all these guys. Still, it'll look pretty. I mean, he's still alive. That's alright. Kablooey! Nice! 
17 gems, 3 wooden coin, 330 XP. Yay, level up. Ba, ba, ba. Focus, increase magic for one turn, generates energy level 1. Cool. You found 18 gems, good stuff, good stuff. One tobacco leaf. Lesser healing potion. Gem. One iron katara. Let's see, what does that give us? Uh, quickly. The sorcerer. Worthless iron stuff. Junkie iron sword, dented iron mace. Oh. Oh shit. Oh no no, it's still there. It's oh no, no it's not. Right, there. Oh that was a whole thing. Go, 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 leave me. Onward. Okay. Scout A. Shadow. I wonder what its normal attack does. Uh, the vampire needs to start doing some healing on here. To the sorcerer. Other one, Shadow. Oh, he got nothing. Shadow Backlash deals damage based on target stats. Drain life from him. Either one will do. Wow, they are Muller in the shadow there. Not very impressive, but what can you do? Ooh, got some nice stuff. Leather helmet, leather cape. Level up on the vampire, and then you skill of focus, and you skill in human strike. Equipment. Back, I said. Leather helmet plus six defense. I'll give him the cape. Cool. I'm gonna give him something because he hasn't had anything. Got again clicking on the picture for some reason. Shadow. Further we go. From now on, keep your stuff on your side of the room. Two more tobacco leaves. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. 13 gems. Healing potion. Opal bracelet. 10 HP. Now that's something I want for my vampire, if he can wear that. Because the more HP the vampire has, the more effective he is, because obviously he can do more healands. That said, how are uh, the guys looking? That's a healing potion. Meh. They can survive another round.
next level. Okay. So, that'll do. I mean, you get the idea. Uh, if that looks interesting, go ahead and get it. I, yeah, I actually don't mind this one at all. Like I said, it's a bit ponderous with its uh, staff. Um, and just the plain empty world doesn't do much. I mean, I'd rather just have, like, nothing. I'd rather it just be pure random battles uh, than the clouds of smoke. That just... Having something there rather than nothing there almost just exposes the the idea that there's nothing there rather than there being literally nothing, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, interesting visual style that isn't as distracting as it should be, I don't think. Uh, it's got a few issues, uh, notably with its layout and stuff, but as a game, it's a fairly standard little dungeon crawling turn-based RPG. Uh, it's like five bucks, I think, on Steam, so... I mean, hell, I'm complaining about the the guys not being on the map or anything, but... Yeah, good stuff. I think. Maybe. I'm gonna play some more of this on my own time, maybe put up a review on escapistmagazine.com. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but that's that. Thank you, as ever, for watching my shit. And I'll see you next time. Bye.